recording, so let's try this again. Uh, we're, this a little problem, just a little problem. It's four seventeen in the morning. Gotta go to bed soon. Don't worry about it. Uh, we're just doing a little differential surface area for surface given by parameterization. Blah blah blah. Only thing we need to know here is that d s is equal to the magnitude of r with respect to u cross r respect to v da and if we look at our problem we already have the da written for us so all we have to do is do the differentials or the partials and then take the cross product and then the magnitude so this is a three step problem let's see if i can do them all correctly e uh, okay, so R with respect to U and V is equal to E to the U, let's write that better, E to the U cosine V E to the U sine of V and U V. Yep, and that's it. And then we have our um, our boundaries, or our I don't know how to I don't know what the word is, but but it's not really important here because we're not really like doing any solutions. If we were taking an integral or something, that would be what we're taking it over, but that way that's not the case here. So just a little, just a little partial differential, blah blah blah. Uh, e, okay, so R with respect to U. So U's and V's get kind of complicated here, so I'll try to keep them looking right. So that is going to be E U cosine V. Because this is just a number, because it doesn't have any U's in it, and then E to the U is just U, E to the U. Uh, that's so that's gonna go here you use sine V and then we have V because the U drops away uh, okay so these are really really easy partials I didn't expect them to be this easy when I was reading the problem so this is just negative you use sine V because that's what the uh, partial with respect to v is e to u cosine that's a bad c cosine v and then u so that's that's our first step first step partials it's these two Now we need our cross product. So this is probably going to be the most complicated part, I think. So we need our cross product. So let's go ahead and write a little bracket here. This is our cross product. Uh, with respect to this one is U, E, U, uh oh, that's an ugly E. U, E, U, sine V minus uh, V E U cosine V this is already looking kind of ugly so I feel like there's some sort of simplification at some point but uh, we'll we'll get there I think okay so our, our next one is our J column so like this is I J, K, but you already knew that because we're all in uh, Calc 3 here. So uh, let's cover it up. Do the U, E, U, cosine, V, time minus, which is actually plus. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We, we have the phantom minus right here, so let's do it right. That's uh, u e u cosine v minus, which is actually plus v e u sine v. 
and we distribute our negative, so that's going to be negative e, or negative u e u cosine v minus v e u sine v. And then finally, we have our k column, which is, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it's probably going to be one. No, not one. It's probably going to be like something stupid. Like, because we're going to like cosine squared. And then we're going to have like, it's just going to be like e to the 2u. Because cosine squared plus sine squared, because we have a plus. Do, do we? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So we'll write it here. E to you cosine squared of E minus, which is actually plus, E to you sine sine squared v so yeah so it's just going to drop off so it's just going to be like we could take these and move them out so it's e to u cosine squared blah 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 it turns to one is is what you, is the important information here is that it goes to one because delete is it it goes to one, so it's just gonna be E to U. So that's our cross product, and now we need a magnitude of our cross product. So it's gonna be a square root. Just go ahead and make it big. And for you I'll go ahead and move the, oops, no, 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 what have I done, I'll go ahead and move this problem down, or like over here or something, where do I want to move it, do I like right here? And then I'll just scroll down on the page. So I probably messed this video all the way up. But that's okay. Because. So second step. Step was to find the cross product. And now finally third step. Is magnitude. So basically everything that happened before. When we, when we canceled like the garbage in column K or for column K's cross product or whatever determinant is probably the word um, is going to happen over again so it's gonna be like oh this is ugly oh fuck uh, U E U sign V or it's not going to happen exactly like that, but like it's going to be similar. V E U cosine V squared plus negative U E U cosine V minus V E U cosine V squared plus e to u squared. So this is technically the answer. This is technically the answer, but I guarantee you if I type it in like that, it's going to tell me I'm wrong. Because these ugly bitches right here, I don't know if you can see me marking it because i got my problem in the way, but uh, this bad boy and this bad boy can both be simplified because of this square here. And it's going to want me to do that. And I'm going to tell you right now. I don't want to do that. Okay we're back. You can't. Let me. I got to move the question again. Let me just move it out of the way. Like right. Off the screen. 
Uh, so this is that is the answer to these two together, and that is plus e two u squared, which is just like e four u. <laughs> so e four. And then this is all square rooted. And that's the answer. So let's type it in. So this is square root e to u. u squared plus v squared plus e to for u. And there we go. That's the oh, and that's the answer. That's the and there we go. That's the answer. So uh, can't believe it. This has been the messiest video. I can't believe it was actually right. So that was, that was the right answer. So e e oh. Done. See ya.